we do have a little bit of B bleeding in over here too, but um, to touch on a few of the C players, we have like Nairo, Samsora, Leon, Yeti, and MVD in this pool coming up, guys. Got a lot of action for you, but starting off here, Dan the Man and all the above. Going at it here at PS2. So this matchup is actually really, really weird. I actually think it, it really depends, and it depends on the Pokemon as how this matchup goes, but more so than other matchups. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you're Squirtle, because you're so short, you actually get a lot of free damage off, and actually, CSS can't really hit you. So you're gonna see in this matchup specifically, you're gonna see Dan go for Squirtle a little bit more than Ivysaur. Right. Uh, I anticipate in this matchup only because of the height issue, and you're not really worried about picking up the KO, even Ask Squirtle, because you know a lot of the moves that ZSS is gonna throw out are, are, are really easily punishable by things like forward smash. Mm -hmm. And also, too, uh, the, the quickest of the three Pokemon, too. Also, Ivysaur and Charizard are not known for their escapability in most situations, too. So to get away from those setups that ZSS has is going to be invaluable. Down air going to hit all the above. Trying to... Ooh. Okay, landing with the side B. Playing a little bit aggressive. Using that water gun straight ooh. into the up B, the waterfall. I love him going above ledge there to beat out any option that all the dub is going for. Going straight into the Ivysaur. Oops. Playing a little bit of a lame game here. Back ledge, though, taking his sweet time. A lot of Razor Leaf, too, coming out to just space out, make sure uh, no projectiles are coming in from Dan the Man's, or from all the above oh, part. okay. Coast to coast, not going to be able to pick up the KO, but we're switching back to Squirtle, 85% on the Squirtle. Ooh, Ooh beautiful the second, though. Yeah. Side B, and it will, because you switch to Squirtle, that's the kind of the glass cannon effect. You will die right there to the side B in a situation where Charizard definitely would not have and, and that was so nice, him be reversing it around the platform, too, for the, like, the sick little movement mix-up that I don't think Dan the Man was ready for. Ooh, he's hunting with these Ivysaur aerials, though, too. It's a dangerous game to be playing, because you can just get combo like nobody's business. It's a grab, though. That was Ooh. a beautiful chase down right there on the back dash. Using the flamethrower to immediately switch back to a squirrel. Remember, if you use a special, you can immediately switch again as Pokemon Trainer. So you're going to see a lot of that, you know, switch into special move, into any special move, into another switch, just to make it go a little bit faster. Very useful in the recovery. Approaching aerials here up from Dan the Man. They've been working out beautifully because, like, so many particular hitboxes on the side of all of the above in the ZSS that you can really maneuver around them, as you were saying earlier. Up B, going to hit with the waterfall here, trying to go for an air to air, but not going to get it. A huge up air, that beautiful. I mean, that, that move is still one of the best up airs in the entirety of the game. Yeah, arcs damn near the entire platform on PS2, so it's very, very tough to be landing when you're coming down from above. Okay. Uh oh, caught him though, on the platform. No punish right there on the down air. A little bit questionable right there, but not going to get punished for it. Lucky for all of the above. Mm -hmm. Bears approaches. Another aerial. Good air to air is coming in from Dan the Man. Going to be able to avoid the down B. Ooh, and they're not going to convert into anything here, too. You just, there's a lot of follow-ups you can get off that, too, so you can kind of get lost in the sauce a little bit. Again, ooh, I was, I was just going to say, there's been a lot of air options coming in from, from Dan the Man, but we haven't seen a lot of uh, on-the-ground, ground-to-ground play, and just going for those like dash grabs right there just puts the idea in all of above's head. Absolutely. Great little striking up air. Going to switch to Charizard. We're staying on it for right now. This is I, I can understand the point of going Charizard here, too. Um, you start getting those combo percents, you can see the switch coming out, no problem. Pointing the Paralyzer up with the side B again, not going to be able to pick up the kill. Using the Flare Boots to get an aggressively quickly back on the stage. All the above, narrowly able to avoid that, but unfortunately, Dan the Man not able to avoid that back air. And we have a dead even game here. First blood going over to all the above, but the combo comes in. Grab into the up air, into the up Ooh, air string. Big string. Flip kick, getting him out of the situation, though. Still going above the ledge. That's so smart. No one, not many people have been ready this set to go um, react to the above ledge option when you do the up here. You've seen Waterfall and now Boost Kick come out now. Down air is getting a lot of mileage off of this down air. A little bit more than I would expect. Back throw. Looking for the air to air. Not going to get it. Another. Short hop side beagle now looking for the Zare. Mm -hmm. Back air. Going for another one, not gonna get it. What's well, the landing option? All of the above going to safely land. Yep, feels like Dan's getting met with a lot of back airs from Zero Suit Samus whenever you see them jumping into any of the aerials. Because you know, like forward air approaching, back air approaching, it's been the bread and butter for Dan the entire match. Oh. The Razor Leaf and oh, beautiful <laughs> Razor Leaf to Razor Leaf combo. Straight hit confirm off the second Razor Leaf into a strong up air. Going to take it. And Dan the Man going to take game one. Send him home with a three piece and a biscuit. That was number, sick. Number two. Let's go. I felt like, uh, as you were saying earlier, the Pokemon obviously plays such a big importance to it. The flow, as you see in a lot of Pokemon trainers, it was, it was kind of lopsided. It was very Squirtle. We saw Ivysaur come in to get some kills. And then Charizard was just kind of a recovery mix up at times.
Right. Same matchup again, though. We are going to Smashville. Platform's going to taxi in, then park itself nicely in the middle. W one thing I always say about this map, too, is more so than any other, it's like kind of a, a king of the hill situation where if you're under that middle platform, you have you dictate so much of the match and so much of the real estate on the stage, too, that anywhere that your opponent goes, you have an option to react with it. Which is why the speed of Squirtle is going to come into handy here. Using the withdrawal right there. 88% again with the forward air. Good stuff so far from Dan the Man. The up B. Beautiful usage of their poking his foot out a little bit too much. And it will take an easy first stock for Dan the Man in game number two. And that's the reaction to the high up the above ledge that we were seeing so much game one, too. So that reaction coming out at the perfect time to get a great lead in this game, too. And they're not going to lead into anything, too. Just going to the ledge. All the above still trying to land here. Looking for the withdrawal, gonna whiff right there. Gonna be able to safely make it back. Short hop, forward air, not going to connect. Landing aerials is all the above. Looking for the chase down, getting it back into the corner. Again, looking for these approaching aerials. Gonna use the down B to get back. Using the water gun to create some space. Good stuff by Dan the Man. It's smart. Oh, he waited for he waited for maybe a spot dodge there too, but the hold on shield is so smart. Retreating, forward air just to beat out the, uh, the paralyzer. Beautiful catch right there on the air-to-air. -air. Oh, trying to read an aggressive option down to the down. are going to get a favorable trade here for all the above. Yep, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And, and recognizing that if he went for the second jab, could have knocked all of the above off stage and not allowed him to get the kill. Yeah, patience right there. He knew exactly what he wanted. The down B not going to connect. The, the side B will. The withdrawal not going to get it. And no punish either from all the above. You uh -oh. have to punish those uh -oh. right there. Jab lock. Not going to get much off of it. Caught the high. Oh. There's no jump here. Flip is going to be the option to get out. That's such a good get out of jail free card. Yeah. Working on a three stock here, too. And with mostly Squirtle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The speed and the shortness of Squirtle is good. Dan the Man ha has the luxury of being able, not only so quick, but so small, where all the above has to really be precise with a lot of his buttons. He doesn't have these long hitboxes. He actually, it's really hard for him to just simply just up B out of shield, like a lot of ZSS like doing his larger characters, because the hitbox Ooh. is not likely to hit Squirtle, but the up air definitely will connect. 115, but one more jab block, one forward smash from Dan the Man will result in a three stock. A really scary dash attack gonna get shielded right there mm -hmm. from all the above. Oh, full flood right there, yeah. Water gun. Not gonna do him in quite yet. Who's kicking yeah. back? Yeah. A little earlier right there on the up smash, but good stuff for all the above being able to secure that sock. But will he be able to secure it? But a short hop up air, catching the shield drop, and that's going to be it. Dan the man taking game number one, or game number two rather, and advancing in the winner's side of the bracket. That was like I feel like the zero suit matchup was not unfamiliar. The the, the flow chart was in place. Even